Today we're talking about simplifying your VS Code setup by letting go of plugins you don't actually need. We're going to be going over 10 popular plugins that you should not be using. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeremy and this channel is all about helping you to become a better developer with the latest tools and techniques. All right, let's kick things off with number one. Up first on our list is auto close tag. This plugin automatically closes tags when you're working in HTML or XML. This plugin has over 12 million installs and most of its functionality is already built into VS Code. Let's take a look at how that works. So to enable auto closing tags in VS Code, we're just gonna open up the user preferences with command comma and then search for auto closing tags. Here we can see that I have auto closing tags enabled for HTML, JavaScript, and TypeScript. With these settings enabled, I can open up an HTML file and then type an open paragraph tag, and we can see that it automatically closes that paragraph. Let's try that with a span, and we see it closes that as well. If you're relying on the auto close tag extension to close your HTML elements, just enable these settings in VS Code and ditch the plugin. Number two on the list is auto rename tag. It automatically renames paired HTML and XML tags in VS Code. Just like before, VS Code has this functionality built in and to enable it, we're just gonna open up settings with command comma and search for linked editing. Here we can see I don't have this setting enabled, so I'll just go ahead and enable it. And now if I come back to my HTML file, and let's say that I have a paragraph that I want to change to a span, I can just change the opening tag and it automatically changes the closing tag as well. Just enable this setting in VS Code and ditch the plugin. Number three on the list is Bracket Pair Colorizer 2. Here we can even see that this plugin says it's deprecated and it has a notice here that it's become a native feature in VS Code. So to enable this functionality in VS Code, we're just gonna open up the settings. Again, that's command comma and search for Bracket Pair Colorization. Here we can see I have it enabled by default. So now in this JavaScript file, we can see that we have matching blue square brackets and matching orange curly brackets. And then additionally, we have a matching square bracket. This makes it easy to see exactly where you're editing when you're in deeply nested structures. Number four on the list is Path IntelliSense. This extension enables auto-completing of paths when working in VS Code. But now in later versions of VS Code, this works natively. Let's see that in action. So here back in the Explorer, we can see that I have a packages directory with a package A directory and a utils.js file. So now in app.js, I'm just gonna say const utils equals require, and here we can see VS Code's already trying to help me out. So I'm just gonna type dot forward slash, and now we're getting suggestions on paths. We'll come down, select packages, forward slash, and it automatically populates package A, we'll select that, forward slash, and utils. See? No extension required. On that same note, number five is NPM IntelliSense. This extension adds auto-completing to NPM modules in import statements. But as we've seen before, that's not needed. Let's come back to the app.js file, and I've already installed express in this project. So I'm just gonna type const express equals require, and I'm just gonna type E, and we can see that Express is already populated for us. We'll select that. Again, no extension required for this functionality. Number six on the list is Settings Sync. This extension allows you to sync your settings across multiple machines using a GitHub gist. But as we can see here, this extension is deprecated and is no longer being maintained. Use the built-in Settings Sync functionality instead. So to enable this in VS Code, just come down and click on the Accounts menu, click on Backup and Sync Settings, and here we can see a list of the settings that we want to sync across our signed in devices. Currently I'm not signed in, so I'll just go ahead and do that real quick. I'll choose sign in with GitHub. And once I'm signed in, all of my settings will sync across all of my signed in devices. Number seven on the list is color highlight. It makes it easier to see exactly what color you're using in the editor. There are several other plugins in the marketplace that do the same thing, but none of them are needed. If we open up a CSS file and we type in body, and then we want to set the background, color to some random color. Let's do one, two, three, one, two, three. And here we can see that it gives us a box beside that color. And if I hover my mouse over it, I get a selector and can change that color. And this is automatically built into VS Code. Number eight on the list with over 10 million installs is debugger for Chrome. Again, we get the deprecation warning here and it says use the JavaScript debugger extension instead. We can see it's actually fourth on the list. The third one is the nightly build and it's made by Microsoft. If we read the description, we can see that it debugs Node.js, Chrome, Edge, WebView 2, VS Code extensions, and more. But if all you're looking to do is debug in Chrome, 
you can actually just come and click on run and debug, choose run and debug, and then choose web app, Chrome, and we can see that VS Code can handle this natively. Again, no extension required. Number nine on the list is Indent Rainbow. It has over 7 million installs, and we can see in the description, it adds color coding to your indentations. To enable this natively in VS Code, we're just gonna open up settings with command comma, and search for guides. And here we can see editor, guides, bracket pairs. Currently it's set to false, but we can see there are two other options. True, enable it for all pairs, or active, only enable it for the pair that's currently active. I'm just gonna enable it for all pairs, so we'll set it to true. And now if we come back to our first example, we can see that we have these blue lines and orange lines connecting our brackets. And on the inline brackets, if I click on the inside, I get a connecting purple line. Before I get to my last extension, if you feel like I'm providing value, hit the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. It would really help the channel out. And now onto my last extension, HTML tag wrap. Here we can see this extension is not quite as popular as other extensions on the list, but it still has over 600,000 installs. We can see that it wraps the selected code with HTML tags. But again, just like before, VS Code has this functionality already built in. Let's say we're working in this HTML file and I wanna wrap this paragraph in a div. I'll just select it and then open the command palette with Command Shift P and then search for wrap. Here we see the first option is Emmet wrap with abbreviation. We'll choose that, and then we'll enter the tag we want to wrap it in. So a div, and here we can see in the editor, it's automatically wrapped this tag for the div. I can just hit enter to accept this, but we can actually do something even more powerful than that. Let's select this entire div, and then like before, open the command palette, select wrap with abbreviation, and here we can use Emmet abbreviations to wrap this code. So I can say header with a class, so dot, and let's say I wanna have a class of my header, so dot, my dash header and then inside that header I want a div with a class of container. So now we can see that I've quickly wrapped this div with exactly the code that I wanted with very few steps. This can save you a lot of time and it's already built into VS Code. And that's a wrap for today's video. If you're craving more tips like this, check out this other video where I go over 10 must have VS Code extensions for faster coding. Also, I've just launched a weekly newsletter that covers the same content you'll find on this channel, except in bite-sized, easy to digest pieces. It's perfect for your busy schedule. You can find it on my website and I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.